Sweet wampum. So you gotta grab him? Well, this is quite the predicament. Uncle Ben took a few more Benadryl than he should have. We have a sturgeon now. Let's give it a bad oh. I think Markiplier got pregnant. But take a look at this. Duck moment is usually off. Oh. Good evening, everybody. I'm feeding this cringe uh, uh, squirrel. You gotta feed him very slowly. But take a look at this. I'm gonna show you guys how to bottle feed an orphan squirrel. I do it very, very slowly because I love this little bean and I don't want him to aspirate. So I let him do it at his pace. Look how slow. Slowly, I'm moving the syringe. And I'm only giving this cringe little fella 5% of his body weight in milk replacer. It's real important to latrine them. You want to go ahead and get a wet paper towel or your finger and just stimulate their butthole and their little pee hole. Kind of nasty, but this is super important. Uh, if you don't do this, they'll die. And this is what their mama would do. I said before you guys that you're not supposed to coddle wildlife, but this is a baby. And you're supposed to coddle them a little bit whenever they're this small. They need love eventually we can desocialize them when they're a little bit older so until this cringe little boy is ready to be moved with other con specifics it is important and almost necessary to an extent to coddle them and love on them and oh look how he just crawled right under my shirt but you can't get too attached because these guys do have to go back to the wild eventually big ounce in the drofo today big ounce eating the blackberry fo today where else can you guys find primo content of big ounce eating a blackberry in 4k 60 no less oh sweet wampa you know what if i put this as the title and thumbnail this would probably get me more views than rescuing a hawk or being in a ferrari accident all right guys this video is for my pet sitter i'm going to show you how to take care of all the animals here at the ranch including the wildlife so come on as you can see patrick here doesn't need to be fed or cared for because he just eats grass and we have sprinklers here that feed the grass first stop of my chores i have to feed these cringe ah uh, uh, foxes all of them except for this one are terrified of me i don't know why this one in particular is not scared the people that were rehabbing these guys illegally coddled this one the most i believe patrick get out of here and that's why this one in particular is so friendly so we actually might have to keep this one so this one could be an educational ambassador potentially but these guys over here are very ready to go back to the wild this guy needs a little bit more work but these guys just eat kibble meat or live prey up next i go over to the raccoon maternity ward this is where our raccoons are in their pre-release enclosure like i I said they make their water disgusting and this is that one that that woman dropped off that she illegally rehabbed and she coddled this boy way too much so that's why he's so friendly and to these guys today i'm giving a mix of chicken gizzards and fruits and i'm also going to go ahead and give them some dog food mixed in with this even these little guys from all things wild are still a little bit too rambunctious but this little shy boy in the back is probably about ready to be released this is our nursery we still have some little guys in here i give them the same thing just a little bit of fruit it's a similar kind of thing with these guys we have two that are very friendly and two that are very skittish in time they will all be ready to go back to the wild but i leave the food lying around for them to find it and i make sure they have multiple little hides and comfort objects as well hello and hopefully these guys will wild but if they don't wild up i'll just start yelling at them like blah, 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 blah. oh he's not even phased in the last video i put a bunch of minnows in here in the crocodile enclosure so that they would eat all of the mosquito larvae and honestly guys i don't see a single mosquito larva in here it's amazing so now i'm going to give him the rest of this shrimp and we'll see how fast he can eat oh Oh, very nice. But he has a little bit of grass in his mouth, so I'm gonna go ahead and catch him and get it out of there. This is how you guys catch a crocodile. You gotta be very, gotta be very fast. So you gotta grab him just like that. Now let's see if we can get that grass out of your mouth. If I hold his mouth shut, I can just pick the little bits of grass out from the side. Ooh. Okay guys, take a look at this. Oh, see, he's so much better than he used to be at catching these in his mouth. And when he's eating, he doesn't mind if I touch him. It's been two weeks since I put this grass in here. And the palm branch isn't completely destroyed yet from rot. But we still have a lot of minnows in here, and I don't see any mosquito larvae at all. And these guys provide good enrichment for him, too. This is one of the best crocodile setups I've ever seen anywhere on the internet for one this size. And the best part is we don't even have to put a heat lamp or any water heater in here at all. After that, I check on my pob and queen and make sure they're fed but if i've touched the raccoons or any other animals i won't go in there and pet them until i've disinfected myself patrick quit that but these little puppies have this whole place to run around and play and when things start to cool down they'll jump and play on the trampoline these enclosures are finally done here we just need to put a safety door on this one. the cappies are being chilling with these chickens in their pool and i'm gonna have to clean this out pretty soon too after that i regularly clean and refill the water for the raccoons this keeps these precious little babies nice and cool whenever it's 
it's 108 degrees. And they also have shade here all day because of these trees. The clappy blappies and the goats have plenty of hay for the next two weeks, honestly. It's gonna be a good while before I have to replace the feed for these fellas. And this is some nice alfalfa hay and some Bermuda. Cutie Pie and Markiplier are still very friendly, but I think Markiplier got pregnant from that one cringe boy that came over. Who knows when this cringe little fella is gonna pop some babies out. But from now on, we're not having any non-neutered rescues come in here and mix with my goats. Thankfully, PewDiePie did not get pregnant at all. As for the cringe algae pond, it's finally almost dried up. I let it dry up. It's amazing how long it took for this thing to dry up because I don't fill it with it. Oh, almost got me there, Kevin. Oh, almost got me. But yeah, guys, I let this dry up because it's just disgusting and it's a mosquito pit. Mm. But Kevin's getting better. He's not as aggressive as he used to be. Now he only attacks me every time I come out here twice a day. But this is a nice little mud pit. It should be dry pretty soon and then we can put a liner down and hopefully fix it. But the reason why I'm letting that dry out is because I want this to be their only water source. Fresh water from the hose is much better than nasty algae water. Even though my buddy said they can eat that and it's good for them. Whoa, was that hit rapper an artist a baby? Are you excited for your big match with Jake Paul November 13th, 2023 that we confirmed in the last video? Video. James Charles Chestnut and Homelander are doing well, but Homelander has a little bit of a limp. I came to check on him three days ago and I saw that he has a little bit of a gash here on his leg. My buddy who has tons of ostriches said that that's normal and he should heal from that just fine. But I'm a little bit worried about this beautiful man because I raised him from the time he was a baby and that's why he's so friendly. And he had a leg deformity whenever he was a small child. So obviously I care a little bit about his leg. And leg injuries and bipedals, which is animals with only two legs, is usually... Oh! Drop the phone there, pretty fatal. Uh-oh, drop my phone there. Hello there. Ooh, my beautiful guy, it's still filming. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, guys, pretty soon we'll have this eagle enclosure done. It's taking a while, though. I finally found somebody that can do it safely. My regular guys do a great job, but I don't know if they're equipped to go up there 20 feet high and set those joists. And my cheap butt doesn't have insurance. But the baby's wife and Petunia are doing very well, and she has this whole place all to herself. And we might be adopting a little baby pig for her to take care of, because one came into the Humane Society not too long ago. And they don't take pigs. There's nothing in this cringe coyote trap here. And there's the field that that intern of ours took a joyride in, kind of cringe. And some people actually thought that this was my Ferrari that burned up. No, guys, I can't afford that. Both those cars were worth more than double my entire property. Obviously, our intern was a large YouTuber that does durability test videos on very expensive cars. And obviously, he would have made a lot more videos about it other than just burning it in a field in Waco. Obviously, if you watch his video, which was number one on trending for a couple days, you can see that it was clearly an accident. I could have made a cringe story time YouTube about how the guy that drove Jake Paul into his fight on his tank destroyed his ferrari by off-roading it behind my house but we both thought it would just be funnier if i did this see you guys <laughs> sadly uncle ben took a few more benadryl than he should have but gord did get stuck in the fire and he tasted pretty darn good and the pond is thriving now you guys take a look at this we finally got a lot more aquatic vegetation here per your guys's request our friends at prairie creek ponds came out again and gave us all of this aquatic vegetation and we even got some neat props these neat little umbrella reeds and some cool fish that should be able to help mitigate the algae and i'll show you guys that right now lamar from prairie creek ponds is giving me this little adorable baby this is a diamondback sturgeon they can grow to be seven feet long and today i'm also getting some pleco and these little babies. These are called high fin sharks. These guys are also going to be able to eat a little bit of the algae. I'm going to put them up here in the wetland filter. These guys up here will be safe from all the predator fish, but they might not be safe from herons. Also, the turkeys and this little garbanzo beans boy really love the pond now. Duck moment. Good morning, bigger ten ounce. Just like the gar, these sturgeon are taxonomic relics and they're omnivores, so they eat just about everything. And I've caught two of the native species we have here in the U.S., but this is a huge dream for me to have this in my pond. He's going to do just just fine in here. Also, we found these eggs. What are they? Pretty neat, huh, guys? And these sweet, sweet lichens are still growing. But this place is slowly coming together and it's starting to look really nice. Who is this man? But we finally have the bacteria doser set up, which regularly puts in healthy bacteria that should also mitigate the algae. But now that Kevin's been fed, he's a little less angry. Oh, uh oh, oh, you just tripped. Oh, tripped a little bit there. I'm gonna bring out the whole ocean. All right, you two love birds. You guys have fun. And Garbanzo Beach, who is for sure a male Rowan who's just getting his plumage, 
is doing very well here and he loves it here. All he does is just hang out with the kangaroos and eat the baby fish. Well, this is quite the predicament. I can't leave. But these guys have water now. Get off me, boy. Oh my goodness, no. This is why you don't raise raccoons as pets, you guys. A woman took way too good a care of this little guy and now he's way too friendly. It's gonna be real hard to get him to go back to the wild. I'm being honest with you right now. At this rate, a game warden would actually have to euthanize a raccoon that's acting like this. But they're very happy in here. They have plenty of fresh water and tons of food. And so is every other animal. And one last thing I'll show you guys is the half cock is doing well over here. He likes to just sit over there in the corner. I think it's gonna be a little while before we earn his trust. But that's it for now though, you guys. I love you, I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And also everyone, thank you for praying for Big Ounce back whenever he got his little tumor. There is now no sign of that at all anymore. That's just his little Peter. And this man has made a complete and full recovery. And I think that's completely because you guys all prayed back when that happened. Two vets told me that I needed to euthanize him and I'm really glad I did. But thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. <coughs>